On a film camera, ISO refers to film speed. This is, of course, a digital camera. There is no film. Digital camera designers use this convention from the film world to describe electronic sensor gain. Electronic sensor gain is when the camera amplifies the signal to make the image bright enough to be seen. Many of you have tried shooting video in extremely low light situations. You may be able to see the image, but the overall quality of the video is not very good. That's because the image was captured by electronically enhancing the sensor. At higher ISO settings, the enhanced sensor can add noise to your images and videos. They will turn out looking grainy. This camera gives you a range of ISO speeds from 100 to 25,600. The lower and mid-range speeds are sensitive enough to create a correct exposure without adding digital noise to your images. In addition, you can expand the ISO range to include a low setting for very bright scenes and two high settings for extremely low light situations. These settings extend the ISO range from 50 all the way up to the equivalent of 102,400. Most of the time, you will likely leave the ISO setting on auto. This is the default setting for all of the exposure modes. The camera selects an appropriate ISO based on the lighting conditions. The default ISO range is from 100 to 12,800. There are two exceptions. The first is bulb exposures which allow for extremely long shutter times. The other exception is flash photography. In either situation, the camera would automatically set the ISO to 400. This camera does a great job of selecting the right ISO for the lighting conditions. There may be times, however, when you will want to set the ISO for yourself. For example, you may be shooting in extremely low light conditions. Press the ISO button on the top of the camera. In the viewfinder, you will see the current ISO setting displayed. Turn the main dial to take ISO off auto and select the appropriate ISO speed. ISO is selectable in the quick control screen as well. Experiment with the ISO settings. Choose 100 when there is plenty of light for your subject. This will prevent you from overexposing bright scenes. Choose an ISO value that's under 6400 for the least amount of digital noise. Increase the ISO for scenes that have very little light. This will allow you to set a faster shutter speed. If you need to freeze the action and the camera is not setting a fast enough shutter speed, consider increasing the ISO. The correct ISO can be crucial to setting the exposure and creating the image you want. 